everybody, welcome back to episode 11 of Northern Lion makes it all the way to the final boss and then loses. We're scraping and scratching and sniffing and trying to find a way out of this prison we put ourselves into where we don't get wins. It's a run with no Stygian, ladies and gentlemen. I did not know that such a thing was possible. A Stygianless run. Oh my word. You cleanse all units of effects that do not benefit Seraph. Well, K Seraph, Seraph, whatever will be, will be. We have an Awoken Champion. Usually we like Spikes or Regen. We'll go Spikes. And... These are both very good. I think this is a little bit more... Like, are we going to play three cards per turn? Yes. Hold on, by the way. Let me uh, lower myself down here. Uh, and we will turn this on for sure. Oh, the first click was just to make the window be recentered or refocused. All right, well, it's not so bad in some ways. Um, so work with me here for a second. We're taking a lot of damage, obviously. But, like, there's, there's three cards. These guys are gonna live forever, dude. I was hoping we'd get some heals for our champion. Um, otherwise, we got uh, some issues. <laughs> Hold on, it's 20 damage. We can't fit. We can't fit another. There's 25 damage? Are you insane? Yeah, 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 yeah. Would have been nice to have that glimmer earlier, but whatever. We did it to ourselves. I, I definitely uh, acknowledge my my own role in the discourse here. Um, that's three cards. Why do you cause zero after that? Oh, because because of the edge prior at the top, of course. All right. Well, I still think um, we should be pretty okay. Obviously, this is suboptimal. Check this out. Free. Free. Okay, so we were playing it for draw. It is what it is. Um, you know what? Why don't you regen a little bit here? Losing our champ does suck. But I think, I mean, you're... <sighs> Toasted is probably not the right word. But you're close to getting toasted. You just want to see what you can glean out of this. 86. We're going to put you up here. We can't afford to play this. Is this going to do anything for you? It might not. We can't play it anyway, so whatever. All right, this is not a banner start, but that's okay. The glimmer is good. The heal doesn't matter. This will give us two draw. Should give us two more heals. Oh, we got... Okay, so we at least made it so the pyre is only going to take one hit. It's going to get hit for more than one, but it's only going to take one hit. All right, so let's slow this run down. Let's slow this run down and... See where we're at. I will say that the dream is probably restoration detonation, and then you have your champ and edge prior on the same floor. That should give us a lot of sustain. Um, I think we can use descend. Mostly to force enemies to hit our champ a little bit more. I don't really respect the melting units that much. The, the animus of will, you just, you, you love it. And then giving it one more multi-strike, sure, of course, it's beautiful, everybody loves it. Ideally, we would, we would fit you with large stone as well. But I think for now, we're going to be okay having you do 52 damage. Um, I, I like... The, the way I look at this one, if we can get Awoken units melting spells, we're going we're gonna to send them, dude. We're going to send them. Um, I think we will keep spikes off for the time being. 75 gold would help. It would all help. But it is what it is. Um, so we like this. We know we're glimmering. I believe we can still fit Edge Prior on this floor, so that's good stuff. We get some draw. 
Probably put a train steward on the third floor to, to plan for the collector. I'm not gonna say uh, a totuso, <laughs> but I did it. A freaking a totuso. So we'll get, we'll set up like a dreg floor here. Um, I don't think we have a, a descend in play. I think instead we do this and draw. See what you get. That's pretty much what we were looking for. Um, and we, again, we still don't want to descend anybody. I think for the time being, so we'll just pass that on. Really nice position for us to be in here. Um, we'll put a drag on this floor. Make sure they they got enough burnout to last for a while. Man, dude, our edge prior is still not out there. What a pain in the butt. All right, let's put you up there. You'll get some heals. We won't play that drag. There's, I mean, we could have played it at the. It would have burned out. It would have burned out if we played it at the top. All right, so you got edge prior down here. Quick little restoration detonation. Quick little glimmer. Oh, 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 oh baby. That's how you do it. All right. We could still use more regen cards. Um, better restores, really. I really think another restoration detonation is totally fine. I don't think so. To be honest, what we're looking for is one molded. And then maybe the ability to bring back... Uh, yeah, I think we will go this way. Uh, the ability to maybe have like an endless unit, for example. When a friendly unit is healed, deal damage to the front enemy unit equal to the amount healed. Or units cost minus two. Our units are already really cheap. I think we want to... I think we want the, the double restore capability, because we probably are going to take the restore capability from the other one. Um, I've never won with either of these. Uh, from our champion upgrade, I mean. Our next upgrade will probably take Restored as 10 damage. Unless we only get the Spikes and Revenge choice. But um, either way, this is a nice half measure, I think. Uh, Lady of the Reformed keeps Burnout units alive forever. Paraffin Enforcer makes your Burnout units stronger. So I think we definitely like need both. But a tank style unit is slightly better. I think because our dregs do a great job right now, um, damage-wise, as compared to, you know, like a train steward. Um, you know what? I'm just thinking. Consumable card. Consumable card. Let's try Stygian. Apply spell weakness 2 to enemy units. Let's get Hellhorn. Okay, all right, I love Armor 25. <laughs> I don't know about Spell Weakness 2, but I do know that by having a zero-cost spell that consumes, we'll get some benefit out of it, and it'll also trigger a very easy draw, too, in its own right. Um, but 25 armor on our champion is pretty good. Okay, so you guys have damage shields. We do not love to see it. What we do love is this... The multi-strike unit behind, everybody's dead. It's great stuff. You know what? Let's set up our burnout floor on the top. Which is actually, like, pretty bad. Yeah. Um, because she's not going to take very much damage, so our burnout units are likely to run into trouble. However, simultaneously, um, we do have the hallowed drippings, which is just an expression I hate saying, but... That can keep them alive a little bit longer. We know we got a big hit coming out here, but there's there's nothing we can really do about it. So far, this seems fine. Um, another restoration detonation early would be quite helpful. We didn't get one, but what we did get instead is the ability to get one. Okay, we still didn't get one. <laughs> but on the other hand, we are getting a nice little bit of healing here. I don't really mind you taking 10 damage. I think we like this. I think we like giving you some armor and then a train steward at the front. Right now, this deck seems very steady. To me, it seems like we're doing a, we're doing a good job of slowing these enemies down. You guys are doing fine for the time being. My question is really just... Uh, whether or not we have the the ability to make this descend worthwhile like what's worth more a train steward or 10 hp on our champion 
say 10 HP on our champion, because that's probably two hits of spikes from the from the from the boss. You have an encant ability, so hold on. Do you know? You know, we could also do it like that. We're not doing anything with that drag, regardless. Nobody's gonna get descended. Although, now that I think about it, it's not necessarily a bad idea to just descend the train steward to do more damage on this floor and really stack up like a nightmare floor. And we'll just make our our boss uh, get some spell weakness. We don't have really any high damage spells regardless, except for maybe restoration detonation, and even that's a little like debatable. Plus, we're in, we're gonna end up using it all on the glimmer regardless. So he took like four damage, but <laughs> it is what it is. Um. Let's make sure you're dying. Keep that rolling. Top floor is running into some problems because we don't have any burnout getting generated up there, but that's okay. You're taking 312 on this floor. 316. 388, oh my god. Um, let's have you descend. And I was going to say, I bet that does enough to get the job done, and it totally does. So... I don't think we have a, a super encouraging um, deck right now, but it did very well. It was an early game superstar. I would say that one of the more important things now is getting a buff card um, that makes it so our, our animus gets better. I think you go Formless Child. And how do I see this going? Well... Being able to play Formless Child. This is tempting too, don't get me wrong. Um, being able to play Formless Child after an Animus dies and then bringing it back with plus 40. I think we can make it work. It's going to be a little tedious. I have no idea how to set this up. I, I'm very confused. <laughs> um, capacity, I think, is slightly worth more than energy, and draw is something we already have handled. Uh, so I, I do value removal a lot here. Yeah, I, I think removal and the train stewards, quite frankly, have got to go because most of the restores we're going to play for free. We also want the dregs to go and get replaced with stronger units. I think we, I think we can. Although now that I think about it, wouldn't we rather just double our existing Animus of Will? Or would we rather double Formless Child? Um, okay, hear me out here. I think we made a mistake. I think we do double our, our Animus. And I think we remove the other Animus. Or upgrade it in the future, and that could be fine too. And for Revenge, you get draw one, so we're gonna go Spikes 20. I mean, I'll, I'll call it. I really think there's two Gold Star units. 10 out of 10. I think we can send this. Um, on the Awoken. One of them is the Spike tank. And the other one is the Multi-Strike Animus. So this is actually, believe it or not, exactly what I want. You do one damage. So you're actually, if I do this, you're not going to die. Are you kidding me? We still, I, I still think we do it, just to set it up. And we actually don't want you to die. So this is like... We don't want to play the drag, because we, we, we need Extinguish Formless Child to grab the Animus. So I know that this is, it looks ridiculous. Quite frankly, it is kind of ridiculous. Um, I don't think, we got no means to get you. So I think we go this this we get draw and we drew formless child which is truly terrible <laughs> truly horrible and uh, honestly has me thinking that maybe this idiotic approach that I'm taking is uh, nonsensical Probably a fair way to think about it, I would say. Uh, on the other hand, that's a pretty sweet looking floor. Now, it would be nice if there were some uh, plus 40s in there. 
But n not many units are gonna make it past this, so I I'm feeling okay. You guys are gonna burn out. Just kidding. Just kidding. Um, so the glimmer doesn't do too much, unfortunately, but we're gonna do it anyway. I don't know. Don't play it, I guess? I keep making pretty, I wouldn't say inexcusable, but but not very good mistakes. Uh, and yet being remarkably unpunished for it. Which, I gotta say, owns. That is, that is something that owns, and I'm not afraid to admit it. You guys are all going down. So, we, we have a, a real problem. <laughs> the way that I was trying to set this up did not work. But hopefully it's just because of the way that this floor... Um, just because of the way that these enemies work. It's my dream, at least. I think we're okay. This is what we want. The idea is reforming our um, animuses over and over allows us to use them as... Uh, as fodder to some extent, and then hopefully they'll come out and be like 120 by 4, and then we put them behind the tank and it's all freaking over. We have so much gold, dude. But I do think that we still benefit the most from getting this cheap slash free removal. I definitely think you send one Animus to the moon. The only question is whether you send one um, that's already a little... Yeah, you, you send one of the ones that's already stronger, because you got space on this one for it to get better to begin with. And we can always just remove the Animus from our deck. Then the question of who to dupe, or what to dupe, comes in. I don't think you dupe the Super Animus. Although... It would be funny. I think we can. I think we can have a fun time by duping this formless child. I have no idea if this is gonna work, but it's funny. I think we can turn it on because we have a forty-three by four unit. As long as we put our animus on, well, I was gonna say on the top floor, but really they'll probably kill them on the bottom floor too. So you're a thirteen by four unit, but you have sweep. So can I tell you something? We love this. We love this. And actually, we want to play the Animus at the front. It, it doesn't change anything. I thought it would actually minimize one hit, but it doesn't. Um, why? Well, because we want you to die so that Formless Child can hit you and turn you into a 43 by 4 unit. This is my... it's my dream. <laughs> I hope it works. And we, once again, we draw Formless Child off of our draw trigger. Which is very frustrating indeed, but it's okay. I'm not sweating the collector. You're not even our super animus. You're like, you're a, you're a pretender to the throne. But guess what? You're taking the block as well because we want you to die. And it doesn't matter if we hit these units with spikes because unless it kills them, they're gonna they're gonna heal the full regardless. Oh my god! I don't believe. I actually am stunned that in a 31 card deck, this just happened to us twice. You have sweep, so this is actually truly, uh, truly terrible. And, uh, it's a bad start. Our pyre is gonna take some nasty hits. This is the animus we're looking for, so just come out here. Starting on the next... ...fight, you're gonna do some incredible work. Oh my god, I can't afford the reform. That's me being dumb. Uh, I'll own up to that one. This drag is gonna die anyway. But it really, it all comes down to us having a great animus that um, should be able to kill every enemy it comes across. Yeah, 43 by 4 is enough to get the job done. So I really think, like you, nobody cares about you anymore. We make sure you're strong enough to live forever, and everything else that we do is just a bonus. We've misplayed this drastically, but we have one unit that is so strong that I, I do... Doubt.
it doesn't really matter if the healer lives. Um, that I do doubt they will be able to, to get past me. Okay, okay. <laughs> I don't even know if there will be a spot for you. So actually, we'd rather have it happen like this. Okay, so when you die, please bring back our animus. Oh my god, there we go. Now we got a 43 by 43. Which is going to make you take slightly more damage. Not as much as I would like, but that's okay. Um, I actually think... Because we have so many dregs in here. I think the real play is to put a, um, a lady of the house up at the front to tank two more hits. You're taking 592 now. I mean, you're not getting past the Animus. Whether you make it through the, the second floor, we'll see. Well, you're going to make it through this, the second floor. <laughs> to be fair, you will indeed make it through the second floor. I'm just like, can you even... I think you'll fit. You, you will definitely fit. That's funny. All right. Now, you, when you make it to the top floor, you're going to be very upset. We're just having fun. So, I'll, I'll say the obvious. First off, we are getting a relic. What is it? Friendly units gain extinguish, apply armor 5 to the front friendly unit. Obvious collection, but... Um, this is a very strange... But also good run, I think. The the downside for me is this is a hard one to pilot, I think. Uh, but if it, if the lines line up, oh baby, oh baby. So we're gonna get a little pyre health. X cost cards get plus three. We don't have any X cost cards. It's a little late for that. Uh, I will happily take the plus 40 fire, plus 40 pyre HP. Um, and then here, I honestly think we remove bad animus. I think we got a lot of removal options. Armor 50 is disgusting. Plus 20 magic power and consume. Get that restore out of your deck. Make Descend slightly cheaper. Then we reroll because we got so much money. Remove Consume and cost plus one. Yes. We will gladly pay two to get 50 armor. We will get rid of one more Restore. Yeah, we, we can make Wicked Blaze a little cheaper. That's, that's a big swing for us. Um, there's, there's a lot to like. It's weird... But I think we're kind of there. At least for the second floor. Things can change pretty quickly. So you're gonna do 12 damage. We love that. Really slows him down. We like this. We, we are gonna draw. We always draw a formless child. Like, I don't know if that's... If it's science. <laughs> So I like don't even want the trigger this time because I'm like I feel like we're gonna get formless child. What I can do instead is you go up at the front for certain. You doing okay? You're dying. Okay, very useful. 12, 23, plus 26, 49. So this is not quite enough. We need a unit up at the front to tank a hit. And even then, you're gonna be close. But we can actually reform you. So I'm not overly concerned just yet. Yeah, I, I... Well, there's two ways to do it. One would be to... I think we gotta respect that this Animus means so much more to us than the Spikes. So just drop the Animus up at the top. Give it the Burnout. We can't really reform anything. This will still kill you. And actually gave him some armor, so would not recommend. But we're, it's alright, we're just waiting for a reform unit. And actually, like, if we get a Formless Child... Um, which we did. It's gonna bring back our champion, which is just gonna be, like, disgusting. Now, you're still taking 13. Not being able to play this kind of stinks, but I think we just make sure you take as little damage as possible. 
and you're gonna you're gonna just crush them, obviously. You can just do it like that. I'm I'm still very confident. So now we've got a 40-60 champion, and we've turned our mistake into a big positive, I think. Now our big animus. I actually think you glimmer this floor before you do anything else. But our, our, just work with me for a second here. I just wanted to see what we had. You guys are not burning out. You have sweeps, so you're going to destroy some units anyway. Um, so I, I really think that the best play is to put Alloy of the Ancients on your on your big unit. Uh, or on your, on your Animus. Which I think makes us borderline unkillable, quite frankly. But I did also want to... Well... There were a variety of other plays that could have been interesting. But I'm, I'm getting, I'm waxing too philosophical about, like, good lines that I no longer am, that I no longer care about, really. Um, because we found the better line. I think we put Formless Child out here. We put it at the back so it doesn't take a spike trigger away from anybody. It's going to die to the sweep anyway. Um, and in, what you bring back doesn't matter that much. We're going to let you come out here and die just to get us some draw. Um... So you, you brought back a 49-3, which is pretty sick. For me, I actually think you put your Animus out here to die, so that when we get a Reform card in the future, we can get some real good stuff out of it. And there still will be space for an Animus here. Just, we do want to make sure you die still. Don't get me wrong. You're the good drag. So, I mean, you're doing a ton of damage. What do we hit with our with our reform? Well, you know, actually, now that I think about it. It's always pretty good to bring back a formless child, I think. Um, I think you can just put it up at the front. And maybe it'll get the animus that's about to die. It didn't. Instead, it got a 49-3 drag, which is still pretty okay. <laughs> it's still it's still fine, I think. Uh, and you'll just fit nicely up here as long as... Really, we need you to take a hit because our, our drag is burning out. But, you know, that's pretty unlikely to happen, unfortunately. Uh, so, you still need the armor. It's only going to make you stronger. Well, actually, we should do it like this. Yeah, I don't think there's a good reason. But never mind, there's a great reason to move this Animus down. To have it on the same floor with the... With, like, some real actual tanks in front of it, I think would be would be hugely beneficial. Okay, so you're taking 200. It's not that good. However, how about if we put this in here? Burnout 1, because of reform, of course. Um... Still, now you're taking 398. I really think there's no reason not to bring this unit down. The only reason would be haste, but... I feel like I'm playing this really badly and being completely unpunished. <laughs> Which is really the dream. That's the card game dream. But I, I'm definitely very cognizant of the fact that one slip up could screw this up but otherwise this one's kind of like rolling right now I, I'm in a good mood I for sure think channel song is I mean it basically and we want energy this time we were running into slight energy problems we want a situation where we we make a multi-strike animus even stronger so that's that's what we're looking for um, out of these in case that's not abundantly clear I think the most important thing is still, like, removal, and I'm telling you, these dregs are non-essential now. Waxer units get endless. I don't think we want our waxer units to come back from the dead, really. But I prefer to control that. Days 3 does make Descend better. Dunk, 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 dunk. Spikes 4 on Lady of the Reformed, because they already benefit from getting hit. Make them slightly stronger. No reason to re-roll. 
And you have, uh, you still, you're not gonna give me the regen option. I choose to accept that. What do you got here? They heal to full when you move up a floor. I think we do it. I think we do it. Because I think our, our default large stone animus is strong enough. And we get 400 gold, which, which could really make a big difference. Um... Dunka, dunk, 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 dunk. So check this out. Animus at the front. It dies to you. Then pops back into our hand because of the formless child. We at least kill the multi strike driven unit. That's worth something. I don't think you play the dregs yet. No, because it, it could screw up our. It could screw up our whole game plan. Now we've got a 53 by 4 Animus. Admittedly, it has no HP, but we can put it behind our Animus that has a lot of HP, and we'll descend one in the future, probably. I recognize that you're getting away, by the way. So this is one heck of a floor now. It's 172 plus 212 damage. <laughs> That's good eats. Um, a sweep unit sours it quite a lot for us, to be fair. But um, just don't get swept, forehead. Yeah, you can you can fit in here now. Don't hit me with the haha. I'm making 400 gold on this one. Only Formless Child can get reformed here. So I think uh, you're doing fine. It actually doesn't really matter if you die. We like this. Um, then we play this. We double stack on you. Play this again. We could descend and it would slow, it would daze an enemy unit. Hold on. I, I don't think we move you down a floor, although it's tempting to have you in front of a real tank. Because it will make the Pyre um, take damage on this turn. So we either do descend an enemy to daze them. In which case, we just want to avoid creating... Because enemies heal the full when they move up a floor. We just want to avoid creating a situation where it would make our Pyre take damage. I actually feel like no descend is the right play, even though it dazes for three turns. I know that seems stupid, but I, I genuinely am looking at it like, I think that's the play, dude. Now, I don't even think you reform. I, I actually think your play is to regen too. <laughs> Just because, again, I was looking at the math and I was like, we need to be able to kill all units by the time they get to the top. And basically, we need one floor that can kill all units. Right now, that's our top floor. So if anything, we don't want to split our power level there because it would actually make it, I think, substantially worse, believe it or not. So, uh, for right now, we really don't want this other formless child, but it's not really a big problem. Do we have another Animus out here that, uh... No. Instead, we got a 29-23 a Dreg, but that's okay. Genuinely, completely okay. I don't know. We'll give you a spell weakness. It's not likely to matter. Slash plausible for it to matter. A brief respite. And you guys are doing fine. It, this can only hit Formless Child again, so we don't really care uh, for that right now. Because we don't- we really only want to use Formless Child when there's an Animus for it to target. This is the smoothest, like, final floor challenge we've ever done in our lives. You have to play the Dreg somewhere. Just to get the draw. You're not going to heal the full. So we could split it up. We could bring an Animus down a floor. And then we're just going to tank you up. This is... As soon as your champion dies, you're not doing much else. You're dying on this floor? This isn't even my final floor. By the way, 
You want to get funky? How about how about this one on the top floor? That would also create a real problem for you. I don't know. This one's looking... In my head, I'll admit, I got a cynical mindset where I'm like, I can't wait to see what the... how we're going to throw this one away. I, would you mess with this deck? I, I feel like we do not need to mess with this deck. I, I don't even want to get... Um, that's, that's very interesting, but we really don't want it because we... We find it so easy to kill the formless child regardless. Um, I don't even want stealth. I know I previously said stealth was always good. We got just enough spike and burnout action that triggers on revenge that I don't think it's for us. So, I think Pyre is going to be almost full. I think you cut some dregs out of this deck. They're no longer very relevant. I mean, units getting an extra upgrade slot. <laughs> That's pretty good. So we got a multi-strike five unit. Uh, one of our biggest problems... Dude, I don't know. Do we actually like you with burnout one? So whenever we play you, you're going to die regardless? It's kind of interesting, at least. Um, quick reroll. We don't really want Endless. It might seem like it fits, but I don't think we really want it. One of the problems is that um, we do have... I mean, th th it's a problem and a solution, to be clear. Yeah, that's totally fine. Um, units on these floors do a lot of damage. They kill us. But we do have, like, an Endless engine. It, 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 and I, I'm only so good at figuring this out because I watched Dark recently, so it's all fresh in my head. Formless Child comes out, dies, summons a unit. Then, when we get our Reform card, we summon Formless Child back, and we got kind of an endless churn going on uh, that that works very well for us. I hate that you're getting hit here, but I also think this is actually pretty okay. I, I would love to kill you guys here, but... It is what it is, right? Really just trying to get as many basic regens out of our deck as possible. So you are an Ember Drain unit, which is problematic for us. Um, I mean, you know, th this has to be played. That's a gimme. But we do want a Channel Song, but I'm like, dude, Channel Song is gonna hit the Formless Child. But maybe that's fine. As long as we guarantee the Animus that Oh my god, I hit the Edge prior. Um, now we got Formless Child. But unfortunately, Formless Child can't... But we have one more Formless Child in the deck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you play the Animus because you want it to die. When it dies to this sweep, all we need to do is be able to play a Formless Child. And have it die. And then we'll bring back our Super Animus. Right now, this still seems fine to me. We have an energy problem. That much is indisputable. However, the formless child comes out, and now we know we're getting an animus back next turn. You're doing fine, and we, we do need to keep you alive. It's, it's of the utmost importance. At least we got more value out of that. And we do... I mean, we want a drag. I Honestly, I think we want the drag to take the hit for our animus more than anything else. We're going to be one energy down on this turn. But we're going to have a super animus. What did you bring back? You brought back a, the drag we... Okay. It's, it's actually still completely fine. Um, I think we play this on this floor this time. Save us a little damage. Um... We want this drag here. Okay, let, let me. I just gotta. This is an important one. Let's put it that way. I I never see a situation coming where this is not our right play. Yeah, I mean we knew that was that was in the cards. <laughs> 
I love having... Dude, the edge prior turned out to be insanely great for us. You're a sweep unit, so you're killing us anyway. We'd still like you to be out here. Just to get the kill. Um, so our second floor is all kinds of screwed up. That, that I wouldn't take issue with. Reform, please? Okay, so we have reform and formless child. So I'm like, if we reform, I gotta think about it, okay? Because it's like, it's it's getting twisted up. If we reform an animus, it will come out with burnout one. It could get hit, die, and then formless child could bring it back. But also, there's so many other things it could hit. But maybe... Hear me out here. I think we played that. And now the armor is actually tempting in and of itself. Um, but I think we're okay. I think we'd rather have... Formless Child block a hit. Because if it brings back an Animus... Which it didn't! But it did bring back an 89-3 drag. Um, which is pretty great in its own right. Uh, although we would have no other means to give a burnout, but if we summon it up here, it just dies anyway. So, uh, unless we restoration detonation you, but actually, you know what? This is this is super weird. I think maybe you descend this guy, and you, you're doing fine for now. Then you play the drag up here, and now all of a sudden, this floor is quite potent. Good draw. I I super wish we were able to play our armor. The the not being able to play armor is actually it it's not a big negative yet, but it could get there. We're on final wave. I would say the number one thing right now is trying to figure out how to get our uh, animus out there safely, and I think I have it. Believe it or not, I think you reform this animus. Then you play it up here, and then you descend it to the floor where it won't burn out because we've got revenge triggers. I mean, what can I say? <laughs> you are still dazed for a turn, but uh, I, I feel pretty good about that. Um, Alright, so that didn't move the needle for us too much, but... I, I still think it's pretty probable the final boss can get past us, but... But we made some interesting plays. Well, there is no descend coming. 779. 1003. I think this is how it had to be played. I'm begging you. 344 damage, and I can't... I can't change it. Oh, my draw! My draw! Uh, it's gotta be someone tanky that can fit. Or... It's, it's gotta be... It's gotta be your, your champ. It's gotta be your champ. Get out there, champ. No! Are you kidding me?! Are you <laughs> oh, they have burnout one! We needed the burnout five, but it still probably wouldn't have moved things too much. Every win is like, or every loss, I should say, is like a hot dagger into my heart. <laughs> for now, thanks for watching. See you next time. See ya.